Do you go to great lengths to get your caffeine fixed each day? Is it causing health problems? And can you just not seem to quit? Well, if your answer is yes, yes, and yes, you just might have a problem. Jonah Kaplan has more on this brewing controversy. Some researchers are investigating whether heavy caffeine use could actually be a psychological disorder. Actor Jessica Hayes starts her day with a jolt of java. Even if she's running late for work, she says she can't forget a cup of joe. And I'll call my boss and say, I'm so sorry, I slept through my alarm, I'll be there soon, but really, I'm going through a drive through And then you can't walk into work late with, you know, coffee that you just bought, so I'll just drink it really fast in the car. Work issues aside, Jessica's doctor advised her to cut back on caffeine for health reasons. Professor Laura Giuliano researches caffeine and says reliance on it could be a psychological problem for some people. It's called caffeine use disorder. Caffeine use disorder is having physical dependence, but in addition to physical dependence, some sort of harm because of the, the drug caffeine, as well as an inability to stop using it when someone wants to or when they're advised by a medical provider to do so. It's not an official diagnosis, but caffeine use disorder was included as a condition for further study in the American Psychiatric Association's latest diagnostic and statistical manual on medical disorders, or DSM. Dr. Charles O'Brien chaired the working group that considered it. It doesn't yet exist officially. There may be a caffeine use disorder, but we need more research. For a use disorder, it would have to be people who are compulsively drinking coffee and having it interfere with their behavior. Professor Giuliano says she's seen cases where caffeine users have sought treatment, including face-to-face -face counseling. If you're looking to cut down on caffeine, even if you don't think you've got a disorder, experts offer this advice. You should try reducing it gradually, not stop it abruptly. As for Jessica, she says if treatment were an option, she would give it a try. I would absolutely want help. As if there was somebody who had some kind of cure, some kind of thing that would make me feel like I didn't need it every day, I would absolutely take it. In terms of how many people might be affected with this potential disorder, Professor Giuliano says more research is needed since it's not a recognized disorder at this time. Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4.